Hi, welcome back to Dot Spot. Ears. How do you draw ears? They're pretty strange things. Here's an, three examples at the top. We've got a baby's ear, uh, an ear of someone, an adult, and an ear of an older adult, an older man. And you can see how the ear changes over time. The baby's ear is nice and round. It starts to get longer into an adult. And when we're older, uh, they can be extremely large because they never stop growing, especially the lower lobe area. But they all share the same structure. Okay, so let's just have a look at that structure. And we can draw over this ear just so it's really clear. Okay, and I'm going to show you the round bit on the outside. And then we have this bit that comes around, but it doesn't go all the way around here. Okay, you have this ear canal and this very distinctive bump. Now, if we take that and we move it onto the white page, you can see very simply, even with those few lines, it looks like an ear. So to simplify that even further, you can draw your ear like this. You can come in from the inside and around like that. And then around here and a bump and shade these areas here for a very convincing looking ear. You need to be careful with your characters because you don't want to make the ears too complicated. So with a very simple character, your ears could even be as simple as this. So you just pick up the most distinctive marks in the ear, which is this bump and this area around the outside. And for a small character, like um, a simple baby or something like that, let's just go back to a young character and give him some very simple ears. And you can see that it, it works just fine on a character like this. He's got very big ears, but that's okay too. And it's just enough, and it gives you the impression of his ears. So around you go, and back. You could even add a second one and to shade that in for a little bit more distinction. When it comes to these other ears, the longer, the larger ears, you can make um, also cartoon drawings to be a lot more detailed. So you have um, this larger outline of the ear here, and then you're coming in from here, going all the way around to there. And once again, with the ear canal and the bump, and we're coming around into this section here. Now, there is another indentation here, which you can then shade and give a little bit of shade here and into the the hole where there's the actual hole in the ear and it starts to take shape if you add a bit of skin over that part and in this area here then you can start to feel that it's beginning to really look like a cartoon ear you could add even uh, an earring to it if you wish okay all right well i hope you enjoyed that if you did uh, check out the rest of my videos and see you next time bye